I gotta tell you, I'm so humbled to meet you both because listen, I know you hear it all the time, but you are such pioneers in our community and you're always doing something great. So thank you for even just taking a few minutes today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very kind. Neil actually day. was one of the original pioneers in the covered wagons. That's true. <laughs> Corn cob pipe and all. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you're continuing to be pioneers because Neil, we are so excited about Drag Me to Dinner. This is like the good feel type of fun show that we need, especially right now in this crazy country we're living in. So Neil, let me just ask you, what was the inspiration behind this show? Why did you want to bring a show like this to life? We thought that drag queens deserve to be seen in positive comedic light. Every time we have interacted with queens, seen their shows, produced content for them, we laugh, our faces hurt from smiling, we leave buoyant and and just high on life. And so sometimes the drag content that I've seen is a little more cutthroat, is a little more fighting for your survival, singing songs you might not know in your repertoire. And so we thought, let's do something that showcases these queens in a positive way that they are involved in, that's that's sort of left of center, off the rails, kind of like a fun, messy party. I come from the entertaining food world and, you know, we love drag queens. Neil did drag, we produced wig on HBO Max. So we thought it was a perfect project for the both of us to produce uh, and, and create. It, it seemed like it was, you know, right in our wheelhouse. And I'm friends with almost all those queens. So I was able to make calls and say, hey, Bianca, we got a, we got a, we got a, we got a gig for you. Would you be interested in doing this? And they were so gracious to like help us out. Yes, David, you took the words right out of my mouth because the selection of queens that you have for this show is amazing. You have so many of our favorite Rue girls, but you also have a ton of amazing local girls that some fans might not know about. How can you not have a show and not include a queen named Bitch Puddin? <laughs> I mean... A meatball, yeah. I mean... <laughs> it is seriously so perfect. We revere these people and these queens are great and they have such positive energy and and a positive vibe and we wanted to be able to showcase each episode and have it be unique and different and not not cookie cutter and we wanted to make sure that the queens were felt respected because we respect them so much mm -hmm. beautifully said my friend well and what's so funny david i mean you and neil really have become like the dream duo i mean every time you guys are doing something we're excited we love seeing what you're doing so how much fun are you having just working with your husband on all these great projects well honestly by show three we were just cracking up on set i mean a lot of this like most of the footage some of the footage didn't even make it that was just brilliant everybody's having so much fun and the crew is laughing and you can see that conveyed on camera i think the audience is gonna have fun too so that's what we really wanted we wanted everyone to have a laugh and to have a good time it, it's about celebration of life and cooking and entertainment and and being with people and having a laugh and and, and that's what it's all about and you loved working with your husband oh wait that was a question that was the <laughs> question and the queens are great and bianca is great and murray i mean the talent beyond you know it's been it's been really and, it's been and, it's such and, a joy to work with these amazing people so including Hanifa. <laughs>